Let's look at the difference between some of the barcode identifiers in Business Central. And I will use my item number 5000 in here, like this. When I'm scanning for the item number, I can use the normal item number. When I scan this one, if it's a barcode, it will have a barcode identifier. If I'm just entering the number like this, it wouldn't have a barcode identifier, of course. The global trade item number is an item number that is in the global trade item number system or European article number, as it says here, and it needs to be a 14 digit number. So it's a globalized standard for item numbering. In the item table, you could also use the item references. And in this system, you could enter whatever on the reference number. So you can have a short number or long number, whatever you want to. But this also is also grabbed by the warehouse mobile as a number you can use. And the GS1 number is what we call a combined barcode. And that will have a prefix that you don't enter in Business Central, of course, but it could be a combination of either of those item number here in here. Sorry, not either of them, but the GTN number or the item reference number, which is, has to be 14 digit meaning. Meaning if you use the GS1 barcode, the item number will have to be exactly 14 characters. So you can only use GTN number or an item reference number, which is 14 characters exactly. And of course, if the item number itself is exactly 14 characters with digits, you could also use that in the GS1 barcoding. So this is how we work with different types of barcodes.